Spring is in the air and that means it's time to plant, but it turns out some plants for your home or yard could be putting a loved one at risk. Tonight, contact 13 with a warning before you buy anything new. I was hysterical and I just broke down and sobbed. Loretta Hartwig Winter thought she was going to lose her dog, Boss Hog. He was only eight months old when he ate a small potted sago palm. He started walking like he was drunk. He would fall from side to side and then he just began vomiting. She rushed him to Cheyenne West Animal Hospital. He um, was a sick little boy. He didn't, they didn't give him a really good chance. It turns out the sago palm Boss Hog ate is extremely toxic to dogs. He was hospitalized for several days developed extremely high liver values. It's a problem veterinarian Dr. Hewitt sees every month, and sago palms aren't the only dangerous plant out there. There are two particular plant groups to watch out for. Diffenbachia and philodendron. They can cause severe vomiting, diarrhea, and in some cases require hospitalization. Another common plant to avoid is oleander, and lilies are also very poisonous for your cat. If a cat eats a lily, they have a bad habit of going into sudden kidney failure, and in many cases, there's nothing we can do about it. Some non-toxic plants are also unsafe. Foxtails grow wild and have dangerously sharp barbs. Bonnie Paul had to rush her dog, Heather, to see Dr. Hewitt last month after she ate some foxtails and started coughing. I had to put her to sleep and dig way back where her teeth end. And they were causing a lot of pain, a lot of infection. She literally had a laceration in the back of her mouth from these foxtails. It's a tough and expensive lesson learned for Bonnie. It was very scary because she's my protector and my buddy and, and I love her. Loretta says all pet owners need to be warned about dangerous plants. If you buy them in a nursery, they should have them labeled. I've been in several where they weren't. And the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals has a complete list of dangerous plants. We have a direct link at KTNV.com. Just type links in the search box.